hello. Hey Good there. morning. Didn't yeah. see you there. Oh, hello there. <laughs> hey! So President Barack Obama and his entourage returned yesterday from Nelson Mandela's funeral. He's in a little bit of trouble, possibly for flirting with prime ministers, definitely for taking selfies. Will, do you think that the president went to South Africa to mourn Nelson Mandela, or this was just one more step in his personal journey? Uh, there is this sense that the president, I think, likes to promote, that really the whole story of his presidency is sort of this wonderful journey that he's been on. He even made... He talked about his journey and how this is an important part of his journey yesterday. He used the word journey because he said he got into politics originally to protest apartheid. Technically, it, it was a journey. South Africa's pretty far. I mean, this was like one of the guy who wears mom jeans and can't hit a three-pointer. Like, goes out there, takes a selfie with the Danish prime minister, hanging out, getting stink eye from his wife for uh, flirting with the pr pr prime minister. She's um, a handsome lady. What does that mean, a handsome lady? I mean, strong it's, chin, good cheekbones, the kind of thing that you're supposed to like in guys. No, it's not It's not saying that she's mannish. It's saying that there's sort of like this dignified, you know, not like this innate, like, can I say <laughs> ability on camera? No. No. It's not like an innate, like, <laughs> ability. It's just, <laughs> it's just sort of like this attractiveness that you respect. Regal is Regal. what you would say about I would. a woman, not... She's handsome. No, no, handsome. I like. It's sort of an outdated term, but she's she's a handsome lady is the word for her. And I would. What do you think she's like on like a first date? Do you think because she's probably pretty regal? Because she's a, she's a prime Thank minister. You. So do you think she's? Yeah, would I, she I'm expect you she's to? Not probably, probably first base. Yeah. Yeah. If, I'm thinking. I'm thinking she'd go the other way. Do you think that uh, that Michelle was angry that he was flirting with her, or just that he was like laughing and taking selfies at a funeral? Maybe Shot, she knows that you shouldn't be taking a selfie at a funeral. <laughs> yeah, I, she probably takes the whole Nelson Mandela apartheid struggle. I'm just guessing a little bit more seriously than college age Barack Obama did, when he was like, you know, possibly using drugs, kind of hanging out, going to speeches. It's continuing a trend of Democratic first ladies that know in their hearts that they probably were the one who deserved to be president. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see, they Hillary. They probably did. Laura Bush would have been president if she hadn't killed that guy. She was throwing so much shade in that picture. Well, she's uh, like, actually like Look at Joe doing, Hip over here she, throwing shade. <laughs> what is throwing she's shade doing, mean? she has total, I can say this because I'm a woman. She has total bitch face on. She's Whoa! Like, oh, <laughs> snap! <laughs> she has total bitch face. Yeah. Taylor and, Bigler keeping it real. Will and I were analyzing the photos this morning. It looks like uh, she actually switched seats with the president to sit between him and the Danish prime minister. Really? Yes. Yeah, the, the, there, there are photos that actually came out showing that the president and the first lady switched seats, and she's still angry. And Obama's got this, like, really dejected look on his face. Like, he's yeah. just, like, looking forward now. He's, like, having fun with his cool, like, Danish prime minister friend. And handsome she's, like, lady. Yeah, this handsome woman. That's and gross. then she's, it's like, I was, like, I need to get in the middle of this. I need to stop your fun. Because that's what Michelle Obama is. She's a killer of fun. A fun slayer. She probably looked at President Obama and said, let's move. That's, <laughs> wow. Well done, sir. Thank you. Someone's one morning bro. <laughs> Time Magazine has named Pope Francis their 2013 Man of the Year. Chris Bedford, you're a true believing Catholic. Uh, did Time make the right call? I think they did make the right call, but they made it for all of the wrong reasons. Oh, well, he's, he's with us on socialism. I mean, and it was like the fifth or sixth thing they mentioned on their list. It's like, oh, and, and defining marriage, because uh, on, on half of his stances, the liberals think he's a total bigot. Yeah. But it's like through, through their prism... He, he represents all that they want. Just like the same thing with the protester when they had that, where it's like, well, through our prism, the protesters in Egypt represent all we want. But they just kind of assign to people right. what they want. It's much better than Edward Snowden, for example. There's that's true. Well, things. there's this impression that the, in the media that Catholics have just started caring about poor people now. This is getting him a lot of uh, fans uh, among people who are not actually Catholic. I think that when it comes to the Pope, uh, he has... He has proven to be so powerful of a figure that uh, he's overcome the left's instincts of looking to tear people down. The Pope, for instance, has these weaknesses for the left. For instance, he's, he's pro-life, obviously. He's the Pope. Yeah. But the left isn't focusing on that as they would for almost any other Pope because they see him as such a magnanimous personality. They like what he's doing for the poor. They like that he's out there and showing some humility. He's definitely a more modern 
figure that other people that aren't Catholic can relate to. Why is that a bad it's thing? It's good. He no, came out no. of the palace. It's not a bad thing. I just think that it's a demonstration that far too often political opponents tear each other apart for uh, for small aspects of each other's platforms and do it in very, very mean and vicious ways. And the Pope, so far, Pope Francis, has proven to rise above that. I will be shocked if in two or three years, though, that continues to be the case. Uh, people... Here, here's, here's, can I, quickly, though, uh, the one thing I'm worried about the Pope, now, I, I, you know, all Popes are socialists when it comes down to it, but I worry about him being a little bit too clever with this, and he knows this message that's very appealing to the media and to left-wing politicians, but... If they start justifying bad things with, hey, look, the Pope supports us, if Bill de Blasio starts bankrupting New York for saying, oh, the Pope told me to do this, that is going to be in the long term bad for the faith and bad for this country.